we're all daily driving AI in our own various ways and asking questions from like what the plumbing is to like, where do I find this particular item to like, what is your take? And what I would say is we don't know at a meta level what we're all asking. And I think it's important that we do, like someone's got to track it. And Anthropic does a great way of releasing research to help us do that. So let's get into it. I'm going to break it down for you as fast as I can and maybe make it as simple, but bear with me. Turns out they use extended thinking mode a lot with computer science researchers, and they're leading that charge with 10% of their tasks using this feature. That's followed by software developers and creative digital artists who are clearly pushing the model to flex its cognitive muscles. What I find particularly juicy is that breakdown of augmentation versus automation across different occupations. Copywriters and editors are heavy on the collaborative side, working with Claude, constantly iterating with Claude to co-create content, while translators are basically saying like, hold that, you handle this. The overall split between augmentation and automation is kind of held steady at about 57%. And through learning interactions where users are essentially picking Claude's brain, like me, for information, has jumped from 23 to 28%. What I find most interesting though, is that taxonomy of Claude usage, 630 granular categories capturing everything from plumbing to battery guidance, right? It's essentially a map of how humans are deploying AI in the wild rather than how we might think we might be. 